Let's see certain tests which are used to test amino acids in laboratories. The first one is ninhydrin test and um, this is a very famous one because this test is used uh, to develop fingerprints by forensic experts. And uh, what is ninhydrin? First of all, you have indane, you have indane and uh, this is uh, basically benzene ring with uh, a five membered another ring connected to it then you can think of indane one two three trione three um, ketone groups connected to indone at these carbons and then if you can hydrate this in indane one two three trione at this carbon which is most delta positive so water can attack at this carbon and uh, it can take this form so you have two hydroxyl groups here and uh, this is not very stable on, as uh, most of my viewers should know that uh, from basic organic chemistry you know that at one carbon we if there are two uh, hydroxyl groups it's not very stable because one of the hydrogen from the from one of the hydroxyl group will protonate the other hydroxyl group and water will um, be eliminated from the molecule giving back you this thing giving giving you back uh, the carbonyl compound Okay, so this is ninhydrin. So from indane we have one two three indane tri one indane one two three trione, and then we have ninhydrin. Let's see. Um, this test is used to detect amines, and it can also be used to detect amino acids. So with amino acids, uh, you see this test can go a little bit more further uh, in the mechanism. But let's first uh, see like how this thing is used in fingerprint development. So suppose I leave a fingerprint, uh, uh, like I touch my screen here here with the fingerprint with my finger and I leave my fingerprints here on the screen so what uh, I have to do is to like put ninhydrin solution here where the fingerprint is suspected to be and then warm like warm this like the reaction is very slow so we need to accelerate the reaction by heating this uh, uh, the environment and um, we can also use moisture to accelerate the speed of the reaction and then after some time the fingerprint will be seen in this color here the purple color so that's how you do an anhydrin test very simple mechanism is also quite simple it is a long reaction but the, the steps are very simple the first step you, you can see this is a uh, you have a lone pair here which can attack at the most active uh, carbonyl group here and there could be nucleophilic substitution mm -hmm. and then after the nucleophilic substitution the hydrogen the water molecule can get uh, um, removed from uh, the resultant molecule so this kind of reaction happens uh, when you do 2 for dnp test uh, or uh, you when you use a uh, high uh, oxime when you create when you make oxime from uh, hydroxyl amine so this is a, a very simple kind of a, a very general kind of reaction which happens between aldehydes and ketones and um, ammonia derivatives in which you have nh2 with a lone pair and then any other group so this will attack on the carbonyl group and uh, h2o will eventually get evolved and this nitrogen will be doubly connected to this carbon so the final product is like this and uh, this is a simple nucleophilic addition with n site dehydration so nucleophilic addition on ketone group followed by removal of water and then you get this thing and when you see this molecule then you can think about uh, this co2 group here this car carboxylic acid group here can dehydrate uh, so decarboxylate decarboxylate very easily because uh, there is a nitrogen here and it's um, it's showing some electron withdrawing effect from here so if the if these electrons are transferred to here and these electrons go here then uh, in the transition state the delta minus charge which which will develop here will be stabilized and the H will then transfer itself to there to th that carbon and then eventually the CO2 molecule will be released from the molecule giving this molecule so you can see the CO2 molecule has been released right so this de decarboxylation is easy because of this group this nitrogen present here and then uh, 
this double bond here at the just outside a ring is not so stable because it can't get um, the complete bond angle of 120 degrees so if somehow the double bond shifts there which can happen because there are two hydrogens here and one of the hydrogen can shift uh, to this carbon and the double bond can shift so this is a kind of a tautomerization this tautomerization can occur and then double bond reaches here so this is more stable and uh, when this thing is formed then you can see that this is an I mine here and uh, you can add water you can do hydrolysis of I mine to get um, so when hydrolysis will occur water will break down and uh, this part is delta plus of water and this part is delta minus of water you can do a complete attack and you can draw a mechanism also but uh, explaining very simply the water will break down and this will here is your delta minus part and here is your delta plus part and it will attach uh, uh, like H plus will be attached at the nitrogen hydrogen will be attached at the nitrogen and the hydroxyl group will be attached at the carbon and uh, a bond will be broken from here so two times uh, hydrolysis will occur here and you can try the mechanism on your own two times the water will add and uh, this thing will be uh, this thing will be formed so I I have moved straight to the aldehyde because uh, at this side at this side you will get R CH and 2 OH and uh, that's why this is unstable and you will have to remove uh, one H2 from here also because this H will protonate this one this part and then it will remove it as H2O so R CHO that's why I have written 1H2O only here because I could have written 2H2O and then minus 1H2O also but that's fine so we reach uh, here and uh, because the ninhydrin is present in the solution now this molecule is it can react with through nucleophilic addition and remove removal of water like what was our first step in the first step we had an this amine group in reacting with the the ninhydrin and now we have this molecule reacting with the ninhydrin finally to give us a purple colored dye so this is the dye yeah so this is one of the tests which is used to detect amino acids in laboratory ninhydrin test and then now we have a B by urate test by urate test this is also a simple test uh, why this name by urate so you need to understand this first uh, this is urea and this is another urea molecule and uh, you can think of this uh, lone pair from here attacking on this uh, carbon and then you can see this is a leaving group this leaving group getting out from here and then a proton transfer from this nitrogen to this leaving group and eventually one ammonia will be released and what you will get this thing is a biurate molecule which has a peptide linkage which has a peptide linkage the kind of linkage with which amino acid molecules attach themselves together so it has a peptide linkage the test reagent is not biurate this test is called biurate test because it is given it's positive with the biurate so biurate gives a positive biurate test so from this is the re this is not the reagent this is the testing like you can test biurate with this thing and um, and then any other thing in which there is a peptide link any other protein molecule or any other dipeptide or tripeptide or anything like that you can test it with this test this kind of test but what's the test what's the reagent so what's the test about we know that this test is going to be about peptide linkages but what's the reagent? The reagent is very simple. It's Cu2 plus in the basic medium. Okay. Cu2 plus in a basic medium, which is which is what we took in many other tests before in carbohydrates, like in uh, um, Failing's test, bar for aids test, and also in uh, Benedict's test. So the reagent is very simple. The mechanism, I will show the mechanism with biurate. The similar kind of mechanism will occur with any polypeptide or dipeptide kind of molecule so mechanism with biurate so this is the biurate and this hydrogen here can get uh, released 
first because uh, we are in the basic medium so in the basic in the basic medium this hydrogen if this hydrogen gets released you get a minus on nitrogen here which can be resonance stabilized by these two interactions with these oxygens here so that's why this nitrogen will release the hydrogen and it will be in negative it will be negatively charged with two lone pairs and the cu2 plus can complex now with these uh, ions like this one two and then because there's no space i've written only bi minus by urate by urate negative ions they're connecting from the same nitrogen as in these two and this is a colored compound so this test is used for identification of peptide linkage so a dipeptide tripeptide molecules like that or proteins can give this test this test thank you very much for watching